Unit Four. Life in the Past. Unit Four. Page Forty. Getting Started. Activity One. Listen and read. This is a present for you, son. A kite! How cool! Thank you, Dad. I made it for you, just like your grandfather used to make one for me. Is it a family tradition? Yes, for generations. I love it. So, when you were a kid, what did you used to do for entertainment? Oh, it was all very simple back then. We didn't have television or the internet. A mobile movie team used to come once every two months, and everyone from the village would be there. The children were always early, trying to get a place near the screen. I suppose it was a special occasion, wasn't it? Sure. I wish there were movie teams like that now. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Then how did you get to know about the world outside? We had the radio. Actually, only wealthy people did. The whole village used to listen to the news programs through a loudspeaker. Wow, I can't imagine that. I know, the world's changed a lot, son. It's much easier now. Do you miss the past, Dad? I suppose I do. Sometimes I wish I could go back to that time. Unit four. Page forty-three. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Listen and underline the auxiliary verbs which are stressed. Then, practice saying the sentences. One. Life will be improved in those remote areas. Two. They can see the rain coming in from the west. Three. You did make me laugh. Four, he hasn't handed in his assignment. Five. I don't like the idea of going there at night. Six. Sam doesn't like fast food, but I do. Unit four. Page forty-three. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Underline an auxiliary if it is stressed. Then listen, check, and repeat the sentences. One. The men in my village used to catch fish with a spear. Could you do that? No, I couldn't. Two. I have told you many times not to leave the door open. Three. We're going to visit Howick, a historical village. Four. You aren't going to the party. Is it because you can't dance? I can dance. Look. Five. I hope she doesn't do any damage to the car. Don't worry, she does know how to drive. Unit four. Page forty-seven. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. An old man is talking about his school days. Listen and decide if the statements are true, false, or not given. 
I went to a village school. In fact, there was only one classroom for fifteen students of different ages, both boys and girls, and one teacher who taught everything. The school didn't have a name, so we just called it our school. We used to walk to school. Some children went barefooted. At school, we learnt to read and to write. We also learnt a little maths and history. There were no science lessons, and we didn't have exams either. Although our school was small, it had strict rules. We had to behave ourselves. We stood up and bowed to greet our teacher at the start of every lesson. We could talk only when we were allowed to. However, we had no homework and no extra classes. I had a lot of time to play outside and to help my parents in the house. I loved my school and those school days. Unit four, page forty-seven. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen again and fill the blanks with the correct information. I went to a village school. In fact, there was only one classroom. For fifteen students of different ages, both boys and girls, and one teacher who taught everything, the school didn't have a name, so we just called it our school. We used to walk to school. Some children went barefooted. At school, we learnt to read and to write. We also learnt a little maths and history. There were no science lessons, and we didn't have exams either. Although our school was small, it had strict rules. We had to behave ourselves. We stood up and bowed to greet our teacher at the start of every lesson. We could talk only when we were allowed to. However, we had no homework and no extra classes. I had a lot of time to play outside and to help my parents in the house. I loved my school and those school days.